Hi all you sexy kittens. I was really inspired to do this pinup kitten tutorial when I saw a old Tom and Jerry episode where he is a Casanova cat and is trying to woo the female cat. I hope that you guys have seen those cartoons and if you haven't you can click in the link in the description box. I'll link you to the cartoon. Click here for the makeup and click here for the hair tutorial. This way you don't have to watch the entire video. But if you want to watch the whole video, then go ahead. I am using a white eyeliner to draw a circle around my eye and this is going to serve as a guide to where my blue cartoony looking eyeshadow is going to stop. Now you have two choices. You can either blend it out or you can leave it looking cartoony the way I'm going to. I'm using my first edition 120 BH Cosmetic Palette and with the blue I'm going to use a smudge brush to line and show me where the eyeshadow is going to stop. Now as you can see I'm just going around the edge of the eye rather than going into the middle and filling it in. Using this lighter blue, almost green, I'm going to fill in the middle part of that circle that I made around my eye and this is what it will look like. Then I'm going to use some white and just dab it on my eyelid and this is going to give the illusion of light shining on my eyelid just like the cartoons. Make sure you blend that really well and this is what it looks like. For a more cartoony look you can make the line more harsh. I'm applying eyeliner and of course I'm winging it out as much as I possibly can for that cat eye look. Then I'm going to take some false lashes and I'm going to cut them in half and apply them at the corners of my eye and extend them a little bit further out than my natural eye. And I'm going to add the other half of the lash on top of that. Later on I do press these two lashes together but meanwhile they dry. I'm going to apply liner all on the waterline of my eye and also on the outside where my eyelashes are. Then I'm going to apply a black eyeshadow with a smudge brush to set the eyeliner. Using glitter, I'm going to apply this onto just the tip of my nose. You can go up to the very top of your nose if you'd like, but I just thought I would just leave it here on the tip part of my nose. I'm using glitter, but you can also use like pink eyeliner, I'm sorry, pink lip liner, or you can use a black eyeliner, whatever you think is fancy for you. Don't look up my nose. <laughs> um, you know this glitter doesn't really go up your nose. If you're worried about it tickling your nose, it really doesn't, but just in case um, it does, you can use a Q-tip to clean out your nose. So that's what it looks like right there. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line my nose with a liquid liner. This is going to give it a more cartoony effect. Then I'm using some black shadow to give it a little bit more depth. Now I'm applying concealer onto my lips and I'm drawing a cartoony mouth going a little bit over my natural lip line and then ending it before my natural lip line at the bottom. I'm using this 66 color palette from BH Cosmetics and it's a pinky red. Then after I finished applying that I put some black lip liner or black eyeliner around my lips to give it a more cartoony effect and blended it with the lip gloss. This is what the makeup looks like. So you can add or subtract anything that you like for your look. Now moving on to the hair tutorial. I took a section of my hair, kind of like in a crescent shape, and I just pinned it to the side. Then I split my hair in half at the top, and you can see that I split it in half, but then I went in the back, and I got a small section of hair going down to about my ear. You don't want this piece to be too thick. You only want a little bit of hair, because since you will be rolling the hair, it's going to make it be a lot bigger than the section of the hair. So I started rolling it out after I brushed it and sprayed it with hairspray. And when I got at the top, I started shaping it into like a cone or a triangle shape. Once I had the shape down, then I started to insert bobby pins to secure it in place while I molded the rest of the hair. 
You can add as many bobby pins as you need, but just make sure to conceal them. Once I had it pinned, then I started applying hairspray so that I can mold it with my fingers into like that triangle cat ear sort of shape. I did the same thing on the other side, and once I was done, I brushed out all of the flyaways. So this is what the cat ears look like. They're sort of like pin curls, but also cat ears. In the front, all I did is just rolled my hair after spraying it with hairspray. You can also choose to use a curling iron to make this process a little easier. Never letting go of the pin curl, I held it down to my scalp and then inserted a couple of bobby pins. On the side, I just tied my hair to one side and added a hair tie and then put a little pretty little bow and I was done. I hope that you guys have been inspired to create your own pinup kitten look and that um, you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. I also wanted to let you guys know that I do notice your comments. Here is a comment that I replied to. Thank you so much, Goldilocks115. This is the highest rated comment. Thank you. And congratulations on being first. Congratulations on being second. And this is the comment that made me laugh out loud in real life. Don't forget to check out the contest that's going on on my Facebook fan page for San Diego people.